Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another SQL interview question. So the question is, we have given a table called family. So it has all the information about a family tree. Okay. So this has three columns, the name of the member and their parent and the family ID. Okay. So if you see here, for member A, the parent is null and the family ID is one. That means the in the family id 1 we have information starting from member a only so we are considering that for family id 1 the start of the family is a because we don't have information uh, about a uh, parent of a so that's why we are considering that uh, a is the starting uh, member of this family id 1 same goes for g also so if you see for g the parent is null and the family id is 2 2 so we will consider that the starting member of the family id 2 is g okay so uh, and if you see here so we uh, the question is we have to find all the members of a family so for family id 1 a is the one member okay again if you see uh, here the t so t's parent is a that means t is again the part of family id1 again if you see here t is the parent of z okay that means if t is part of this family id1 that means this z is also part of this family id1 okay so the output uh, output should be like one and this should be a comma z comma t okay so for family id1 uh, the members are a z and t and for family id 2 the members are g v b and n okay so this is the output we want so i am going to solve this question using recursive ct and if you don't know what is recursive ct and how it works you can check videos on my channel i'll give link in the description as well as in the i button so in that two videos i have explained you everything how the recursive ct uh, works at the in the back end and in each step i have shown the resulting output how it works okay so you will get a clear understanding i will i will highly uh, i highly recommend you to watch that two videos on the recursive ct okay without that i don't think you will understand what's happening in this query okay so let me start the solution so there are two parts in the recursive CTE. So one is anchor query and another one is the recursive recursive query. Okay. Recursive query. So anchor query run only once and then stops. And this recursive query run multiple times until and unless it gets any stopping condition or the result set in the previous query is uh, uh, empty in anchor query uh, i am going to write a select statement which will give me the starting member of each family in the anchor query because then only i can construct the uh, subsequent members in that family okay so i want to get in the anchor query the members from which the family is starting okay so yeah so in this case we have two members so for family id1 the starting member is a because its parent information is not there okay so and for family id2 the starting member is g okay so my select query will be select star from table where parent is null okay so this query this anchor query will give me this two rows okay this anchor query will give me this two rows let me highlight this in bold okay so this anchor query will return me this two rows okay now this query anchor query will stop executing okay now the recursive query will start okay and in my recursive query what i want is okay i want to find 
the members whose parents are in the previous rows okay in the previous rows means whatever result we have got in the uh, previous execution so before recursive query what was ex executed before recursive query the anchor query was executed and we have two results okay so i want to find these two members are parent of uh, which uh, parent of which member okay so uh, for if you see here the a is the parent of t and g is parent of b that means a uh, this a is parent of t that means t belongs to a and g is parent of b that means b belongs to g okay so how i am uh, how i will able to get that is suppose i am taking this result set as a and this table as b okay so if i if i want to find that a is parent of um, which member okay so what i am going to do is i am going to join this a let's consider this result set as some table a and this original table as b so i am going to join this a a uh, suppose this is the name column okay so i am going to join on a dot name equal to b dot parent so i want to find a is the parent of which member in the b table okay so the joining condition will be uh, on a dot name equal to b dot parent and we will pull out the name from original table so the query will look like this select uh, uh, from let me write the table first so from uh, suppose the previous uh, so the uh, so this previous result set is uh, we can reference the uh, output of the previous execution using the name of the ct so suppose i uh, i have named my ct is a ct as family okay so i can use like this a join suppose my uh, original table is um, suppose the original table name is t a b l e table okay so i'll name rename it as i'll give alias as b okay on a dot name equal to b dot parent okay so this is the on condition i want to find the uh, parent uh, uh, i want to find that in the previous result set what whatever i got these are the parent of which member so when this anchor query executed i got these two results okay and now i want to find this a is the parent of which member so here it is t and g is the parent of which member it's b okay so this is the on condition for that and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take name from original table so i will write b dot name okay i'll write b dot name so i'm pulling out name from the original table i can take the uh, parent from b b dot uh, parent b dot parent but this family id this f underscore id this f underscore id we need to take from the a only okay a dot f underscore id because if you see we don't have any family id for this okay we don't have any family id for this so we have to take the family id for uh, from this previous uh, result set only okay so um, i know this will be confusing if you are directly seeing this video so that's why i'm advising you to first check the videos on my channel uh, uh, on recursive ct in that i have explained you everything step by step with the output okay so let me go to the console so i am using bigquery here so i will start writing the recursive ct and uh, the solution so with recursive I'm going to write my uh, recursive ct. I am going to name my recursive cities as family. Okay. So with recursive family as okay. 
so i'm going to write the first uh, i'm going to write first the anchor query where i'm going to select the starting member of uh, that uh, family the particular family so how i can get that is select name parent f underscore id from the table name is source raw data set dot family tree where parent is null is null okay and let me select from this ct so if you see i have got these two results a and g because the parent is null that means they are the starting member of their family okay now i'll write the anchor query part so to write the anchor query we need to union all because uh, we have to combine the result set at each step okay so that's why we are writing union all and then the the recursive part will be first i am going to write uh, like this select select from and i'm going to name this city as a join and the original table i'm going to give alias as b on a dot name is equal to b dot parent okay and what i'm going to select is i am going to take the family member names from the original table so b dot name family uh parent uh, members parent name i'm going to take from b only so b dot parent okay and the family id i'll take from a okay so a dot f underscore id now if i what happened b is not okay now if i run this query see what i get so if you see here uh, i have member name okay and their parent name parent name and their respective family id okay and now what i can do is i can group on the family id okay so what i am going to do is i am going to select f underscore id and there is one big query function called array underscore aggregate okay and uh, i don't know about other um, sql engines uh, so there might be a, a, a same function same kind of function where we can uh, group all the elements together okay so what it does is let me show you what it does so i aggregate of name and then group by one let me run this so if you see now the family id one and this column this f and zero under so let me rename it as members members so now if you see this is the family id one and the members are z a and okay and for family id 2 the members are n g b b and this is the array column okay so this is row 1 and for this row the family id is 2 and all the members are in a uh, what we say in a array column okay so that that is done using this array underscore aggregate okay so this is the solution of this question using recursive ct and uh, if you don't understood what happened in this solution i'll advise you to first go through the ct videos available on my channel there i have explained each and everything and how ct how recursive ct works 
with the uh, with the output at each step okay so you will get a deep understanding of how recursive ct works okay and that's all for this video and if you like this video and if you want more videos on sql questions and data engineering things you can subscribe to my channel until next time bye